guys, welcome back to the Vapor Sport. Today is a great day because I recently hit 30 subscribers, which you guessed it, is a special tutorial, as you know. <coughs> so, I have an announcement, two tutorials for this special video. I've been waiting a while to get this, and thanks to a bunch of new subscribers, I'll be having an amazing new channel, which is the announcement, which I'll get more to in this sec. I'll have... Uh, I'll have uh, I'll have my Triceratops, Spawn Triceratops Dragon, which I'll teach in a sec, like I said. But there's one last thing I gotta tell you, which is I'll be folding a mystery model, which is interesting because I'll be using yellow sheet paper. And make sure to watch till the end for for me to announce what it is. And enjoy. So we're gonna start with a new channel announcement. I recently started a new channel called The Paper Shower, which is supposed to be a channel like my origami channel, but more for a variety channel, where you'll learn how to make things like woven bowls. These are really small, but anywho, this this was made out of pine needles and waxed thread. And go feel free to go subscribe to that my, old, my next channel to learn more about it. I'll be, I'll be soon. I'll be uploading more videos. Right now, I just have a channel intro, and I hope you enjoy this video. Okay, so we're gonna start with my Triceratops Dragon, which is gonna be a tutorial. So, what you're gonna do is start on my computer, the computer away. You're gonna start white side up, and, sorry, color side up, and fold in half in both directions, horizontally and vertically. Turn over and pull in half the both directions diagonally. Please extra strong. Okay, now I'm going to collapse the water from me. So, what you're going to do, by the way, this model is absolutely not for beginners. It's pretty complicated. Not too complicated like in most of my models, but I'd recommend having to use them in experience. Okay, so you make a a valley fold up to this point. Fold on this, sorry, make, fold on this new valley fold, which used to be a mountain fold. And repeat on this side. So fold on the diagonal, and then fold on the, on the um, vertical, and then it should flatten by itself. Now what you're gonna do, is you're gonna fold this edge to this crease. Crease extra sharply unfold. Now, pull it to the side and make a mountain fold along the crease you just made, bringing it so you swivel it to this crease so that they align. Just like that. I should probably zoom in actually. Like that. Now, we're going to make we're gonna open this up slightly and reverse fold this in so that this edge aligns with this edge and this crease. Just like that. Unfold. Now, repeat on the other side. Services, or no, not other side. I should say the other three flaps. So it's pretty simple, in my opinion. You're gonna start by folding the valley folds, flip it like the page of a book, make the mountain folds and the valley folds align, and then reverse fold. So that goes all the way up to this corner. Unfold. Now, we're going to do this turn over and do this on the other side. <coughs> so, I'm going to fold it down a while. So, I'm going to do a bit faster. Feel free to rewind the video if you want to see it again. Sorry about the background noise. Now, 
was a bit of a fun collapse. So I start right opening inside here. And then push down, squashing it. This part's a bit tricky for beginners with this bird beast kind of type fold. Then, kind of seems like a bird beast, not really. <clears throat> so you're gonna squash, squash up to right around here. Then, you're gonna bring these two edges back together. You can go, and then go along the existing creases to flatten it. Now, what you're gonna do is gonna squash the flap, the new flap we just made. And we're gonna repeat on the other three. So when you're done, it should look like this. turn over and repeat on the other side. It's gonna look like this. <clears throat> then, what you're gonna do is you're gonna fold here along this crease and squash it that side. Turn to the side and repeat. <clears throat> now, you're gonna fold it back and we're gonna go <clears throat> fold this flap down as far as it can go, like that, and then fold it back up. I'll fold this to the side, and this step gets a bit trickier. This is probably the hardest step in the model. So it's not that bad. But basically, we're gonna do something similar to what we just did, where we just pinch it together. And then we're gonna fold this to the side, fold over, and repeat on this side along the and we're just leaving the value fold on the crease we just made. I meant to say that earlier, sorry about that. Now what we're gonna do is we one sec. We're gonna divide this these two flaps into four so that and then we're it's gonna look like this now i'm gonna start collapsing it a bit more
and we're going to squash it like that. Now, it's not going to be completely flat, which isn't great. So what we're going to do, we're going to fold this down, squishing it, and this down. Add a diagonal crease, and then we're going to squash this part. And then we're going to squash this once more. I know it's a lot of squashing. We're going to do another diamond. Oh wait, this one's already done. Perfect. And our head slash front legs are collapsed. <coughs> now turn over. And this part's a bit simpler. Just a bit. Okay, it's a lot simpler. Now I fold this down. This slot down. Then fold along that crease making a pedal hold. And then, we're going to take this crease, sorry, we're going to fold this, each edge, of each corner of the flap to the middle, the wider, the, edge, the um, obtuse corner. And then, we're going to, sink them in close sink them in I should say not please sink that would be harder and this one looks a lot better and that and the close sink looks a lot better Now, what we're going to do is we're going to work on the wings now. Oops, I may have made a mistake. Whoops, sorry about that. Let me read it. We're going to undo that, actually. We're going to do the close sinks. And, and we're going to repeat that, actually, normal pedal hold on this side. This is why you check before you, um, before you hold. Recording. It's okay. Yeah, thanks. Okay. Yeah. Might just take some time. Might take some time. Uh, I don't know. Okay, so now you're gonna, um, what we're gonna do, so we're gonna do, we're actually gonna squash it. I'm going to sink it, open sink it. Wait, never mind. Sorry, I got a bit confused around there. I was right the first time. We're going to sink it. Please sink it this time. That way the seal can be longer. So now, we squash it. We mean please sink it or whatever. And now, what we're going to do is, you're done collapsing it, 
Now all we have to do is start shaping it. So what we're gonna do, this part's a bit tricky. So we're gonna bend these legs back. And we're gonna bring them back like this, tilting the model slightly. Now, we're gonna hold the tail back. One sec. And then, what we're gonna do is we are going to, or uh, actually, we're gonna take this flap and we're gonna turn it into a wing, which is actually pretty nice and simple. We're, but first we gotta make it be out easier. So we're gonna fold this part up, fold this part up. And then what we're gonna do is we are going to start working on the, um, the wings from now on. So we're gonna fold this up as high as it can go. The P on this side. One sec. Now, we're going to start making the wings a bit more 3D. Which is actually not that bad. Just pull the flaps out. And we're going to repeat on this side. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn this flap into a spike, like by making a reverse, fold, an outside reverse fold. Or you can tuck it in your choice. We don't really need anything for this flap. I prefer to tuck it in, actually. Then we're gonna work on the legs a bit. So, we turn this upside down. We'll turn this tail back. We're gonna put these. We're gonna put these wings down. We're gonna make the wings a bit bigger, just a bit. Just like that. And then we're going to start shaping the legs.
and then all we have to do from here is make the head, which is actually pretty simple. All you have to do is fold this back down. Oops, one sec. Press the leg. Okay, so now. We have the head almost done. All you have to do, actually the head is done. Now all you have to do is maybe drag in a bit skinnier. Oh well. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna just gonna fold the legs up and down. Just like that. And we're just gonna make sure the wings look good again. And we're gonna just do the shape, what shape the tail a bit more. dragon is good enough and done so now <clears throat> what we're gonna do is i'm gonna tell you is we're gonna start with a mystery model so let's do this okay guys let's get started so what we're gonna do is we're gonna work on um the model's been working on design for a while, actually. So, this is not going to be a perfect model. This is actually going to be a special design process video, actually. So, let's get started. So, we're going to start by folding a 32 by 32 grid, which is pretty simple. Of a grid. Oops. Now, what we're gonna do is we are gonna, actually we're gonna stop there. So, if you wanna really know what the mystery model is, make sure to subscribe and remember, 
if we hit 40 subscribers, when we hit, uh, sorry, when we hit so 40 subscribers, when, I'll make part two of this tutorial for the mystery model. So make sure to subscribe and have a great day. Bye, guys.